Okay, guys. You got to see the plywood go up. It looks not too bad at all. And it didn't work out as I wanted, but <laughs> my dad said, hey, let's get this fan on right away. So, it's on. Um, and it's blowing quite good. He's shocked. I'll show you how much the draw is on this thing. I had to wire it in uh, just via, I haven't taken the thermal pan and bent it down yet, but there's the wires coming in, and I got it hooked directly up to the load side of the PWM um, right there. I had to go a little bigger on the red positive wire because it was a pain. So let me just show you how much power this thing's draining. Um, 0 0.4 amp hours, 0 0.5, 0 0.5 amps. And I moved the light is being powered over here on the blue battery pack now, so um, pretty awesome. So my dad wanted to have that hooked up right away because he'd never seen these run yet. So he's pretty happy about this and so am I. And thanks for the help, Dad. And yeah, that's awesome. I can feel the, the breeze just cooling me down in here. It, it warmed up in here quite a bit because we had the we got the door open just for a breeze. 75 when you're working. And outside, it is still, it's slowly going down from 90. It is now, what time? 20 after 3. But that ceiling... That looks excellent, guys. And I'm going to take you up on the ladder here before my battery dies and uh, show you what it looks like above, uh, up in my new ceiling cavity. And I hope I do not hit the fan with my ladder. Thank God. Okay. So we had, me and my dad had some fun trying to get this thing going and up here so I just have it hooked up with that brass um, I just screwed that in by hand you guess you can't, you can't see that it's the brass little hook thing and this is the cavity above guys it's all thermal it's got the radiant barrier on and uh, this th thermal pan like I said it's going to be folded forward so that it'll be continuous air gap as you can see there and I can up here this stuff's working already keeping the heat back which is crazy you guys got to get that survival blanket man because that's unbelievable but anyway I'm gonna put another one by two here screw it in to this one before I get the next uh, piece in and I may have to scab in a piece here because we ran into issues I'll show you um, we ran into issues right back here where I thought we were going to be flush but obviously the 2x4 is a little longer than what I wanted but we were able to remove my screw and bring this bring this one by two flush to the edge and screw it in so it all locked into place after all and this is still locked in here so we're good and this guy's gonna move a lot of air keep the heat from the stove circulating a lot better into the tiny house now guys and that looks like a damn good ceiling compared to what it is there's the new guys, obviously, and there's the old. That's going to be all covered up. And I still have enough space. Like, I cannot reach the top with my hands. But I'm thinking if I jump on the elliptical, I would hit. Um, so, we're going to have to rethink some of this for the elliptical machine. Elliptical may be, be, uh, be moving into the storage room. Oh, speaking of the storage room, guys, I got, my dad gave me some stuff out of his trailer 
I, I don't know if I showed you, he gave me an extension cord. I got some heavy gauge wire. And he gave me this, uh, it's an, also an extension cord, but it's a cord caddy, so I got receptacles hooked into that. And he also had some other stuff from his trailer to give me. He gave me a pair of um, wire crimpers that I did not have. I ripped the, uh, cut the wire off this one to use to connect to the, to the uh, solar there for the fan. He gave me some rope and a toolbox as well. So anyway, back to the storage area. What I was saying is my dad was uh, talking to the accountant um, that has all this crap in my tiny house. And he's he was hinting to my dad that he may be getting a shredder truck um, and come by here and start getting rid of a bunch of these damn boxes. Now, whether that means he's getting rid of everything, I do not know. But even if he's getting rid of half the stuff, it'll free up a ton of space in the storage room. And let's say he gets rid of everything and I lose half my rent for the, for the year. Because um, he pays half my rent for the tiny house. $300. He pays me a year, and I, and I cover the rest for the year um, for rent to keep the tiny house here. Um, and then if he gets rid of all the storage boxes, which would be awesome, then I got some really or good cleaning and organizing to do back here to prepare for solar for the new, new, for the new year there. But uh, I'm going to continue to work on just, you know, getting everything done the rest of this plywood up um, but it turned out quite nice guys I'm liking this and it's also also a good fire protection because when the guys did spray foam it they told me you should put a plywood up just as a fire protection because apparently this stuff can um, melt or if it does catch fire it's it gets nasty so I don't know, but this looks a hell of a lot better than this. I'm sure you guys will agree. And maybe we'll cut down on the off-gassing. I don't know, maybe this stuff off-gasses too, hard to say. So it could be nasty. But this looks really good. I got the fan in the center because it would look kind of strange having it just above the fireplace but having it centered and when I'm standing under it obviously the air is going to be circulating around there and getting the heat out properly so big success a big thanks to my dad for uh, giving me a hand with this and uh, it should go easier now that I got that that piece up um, from here on out because that's like the main starter piece which is going to be that was always going to be a nightmare. But as it goes, it should cover up quite a bit. Now, if I measure quickly, I got my tape measure here. Um, I just want to measure from the, flo from the floor up to the ceiling now. Let's see the ceiling height. Okay, so we're just, we're at 95 inches tall, which is not quite eight feet. Okay, so now it's a little less than eight feet tall ceiling, guys. So now I want to see back here, um, sorry about the angle, see where this wall will line up when I get over to this side. I know it's going to be shorter because it just looks that way. Oh yeah, it's shorter by quite, quite a bit. Okay, 90, 94 is up there. So 
I may have to build um, build that wall up uh, the height wise um, just to you know so when the plywood goes uh, on, like once the plywood gets over there my ceiling have this wall built up flush so it's actually touching the ceiling and locks everything in and that way it'd be kind of nicer so we'll have the and it'll be more solid I'll probably have to run a board across for the walkway type area I'm guessing um, but uh, yeah we'll figure all that out in the future though not, not to worry so pretty awesome guys tiny house is coming together and uh, I can't believe the, the temperature today Ugh. hellish the humidity is very high and it's 80 um, oh I got to uh, take off give my dad a hand he's hel I'm helping him clean up his trailer and he's helping me with a little bit over here so you know we trade hands um, and that'll be it for today's video guys uh, but uh, right now um, this thing is ready for winter but obviously I'm not gonna stop here I'm gonna keep going with the ceiling and put the rest of it up um, because I want to take full advantage of that radiant barrier and uh, seal this ceiling up nicely and it should clean stuff up <laughs> you can see the light shining from back there where there's like a little gap I wonder if I move that a bit because I didn't have that before let me ch check I wonder if it did move I think it did Ugh. oh I bet if I undo this this screw if I undo that screw I bet it'll come back this way I'm gonna try that that's a Phillips okay hold on guys I'm gonna do that I think that's that small Phillips, I'm not sure. Uh, let me go see what that is, I don't remember. Small Robertson. I'll take that screw out just for now. Okay, I got a baby Robertson right here. And I bet this thing pulled over when we did all our work. about to die that's about it for this video guys I'll get back to you uh, on the next video when I get more materials and can get everything prepped and ready um, for the next piece which will probably be right above me um, and I think it's gonna look damn good and that's just and all I got to pick up those one inch drywall screws as well because I uh, need a whole lot of that stuff just to keep going here but anyway that's it for now guys I'll see you on the next video 
I'm just kind of cleaning stuff up. I'm going to shut the fan off. I'll do that now while you guys can see it. And we'll see what happens here. As we get ready. <clears throat> off we're good so yeah I'm out of here for now guys whoa zoomed in whoa yeah I'm out of here for now I'm gonna clean up a little bit and uh, you know do what I can do and give my dad a hand here so we can get to he can head out and not worry Put these bits over here, get rid of some trash, but so far so good guys. I'll see you on the next one, alright? Rob from the Awkward Tiny House with the new ceiling. Checking out one last time.